Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the mini love forecast for the Capricorn. Okay, sorry. Um, so this is going to be for April the 25th, starting April the 25th and ending May the 1st. Um, so we're going to look at what's going on currently, um, what has went on in the past. And the future, the two future cards are going to be for what you can expect next week. All right. I'm sorry. Lee. All right. So, okay. I'm just going to. All right, so um, this is going to be a five-card mini reading. If you want a personalized reading, the link to my website is in the video description box. Um, like I said, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate <clears throat> for every Capricorn, but I can see that currently uh, you got the Knight of Cups, so you're getting uh, some emotional support from someone. Um, this could be a significant other, this could be an ex, this could be, you know, anyone. The knight is a literal person in your life. And so that's um, a really good positive, you got some good positive energy surrounding you. So some of you that are in relationships, currently you're doing good. And those of you that are single... <coughs> Somebody's getting ready to come around. And it's because of your energy itself. So <clears throat> you get what you attract. Um, so that's what I'm seeing currently as, as a possibility. Now, in the past, you did get the Knight of Swords. So this is another literal person. This person um, is very quick thinking. Okay, the quickest thinker of the Knights. Okay, um, there has a very fast perception, um, which is why he carries the sword. Okay, because he, you know, in order to be a swordsman, you have to have good timing and, you know, and so that's pretty much what he is. He comes in on a red horse and, you know, he's got like this super duper supernatural um, perception. So this could be a literal person in your life. Capricorn, what's crossing in the past is the Three of Cups. So um, I get the sense that, um, judging by the rest of your readings, that a lot of you Capricorns just recently reunited with someone because the Three of Cups is the card of reunion. Um, also, I'm seeing some pregnancies within some, um, some of you Capricorns out there. I'm sensing some possible pregnancy. Um, with the three of cups and it's because of the feminine energy and it's because it's the three and I mean so uh, it, it's a lot of different possibilities with with this card okay so again with it being a general reading but I think at the basis is some sort of reunion so some of you may have just gotten back with someone or you just ran into someone just recently And I get the sense that this Knight of Swords, Capricorn, is your um, significant other, possibly. If they're not an air sign, if they're not a Libra, um, Aquarius, I can't remember what, um, I'm sorry, um, Aquarius, and Libra, and... Um, Gemini those are the air signs so you know this particular air sign is very advanced mentally but may not have you know it's a possibility that they could lack in other areas but I mean you can definitely see that I, the knight of swords is not a bad character but it's just that's one of his this person's strong areas 
let's put it like that and what crossed you in the past is the three of cups so this was a reunion with this person there may have been a baby conceived out of that who knows um, the three of cups could indicate a third party indicating some sort of love triangle but it doesn't have to be a, pop, a, a negative one it doesn't have to be like it could be like maybe um, his mother or his sister or his friend or something you know now in the future you got the queen of cups so the queen of cups is another literal person you literally have three people four people showing up in your reading and the queen of cups she brings a very um, emotionally the queen of cups is not emotional she's she actually signifies emotional growth which is probably an area that is needed in you Capricorn because to be honest with you the knight of swords could be you it could indicate the Capricorn in this situation even though you're not an air sign doesn't mean anything so the Queen of Cups coming up is showing um, you know another literal person and she's also showing up to remind you of the need for emotional growth <laughs> she's very maternal very sensitive um, she's got a kind heart and she values and cherishes her family and her children and she's very fertile she's a very good mother and what's crossing Queen of Cups in the future is the fool so this may even indicate a fourth person the God energy you know um, the fool card is number zero in the zodiac so the number zero is the alpha the omega the beginning the the end you know, and it also indicates how everything just kind of goes in a circle. So we're not, it's not necessarily a circle, but it's like the, to me, the universe is infinite. So <clears throat> the number zero is also an infinite number because you can't, you know what I mean? Um, so for it to be crossing, this indicates a child, like a new energy. So this is a major arcana, the full card in the future. And this is a, a, you know, a childlike purity, you know, that's, that, that a lot of you Capricorns are going to get back next week. Um, or it shows a need for that. You know, maybe that's why the full card showed up. Now, next week, you're probably going to meet someone. Doesn't mean that they're going to be ready to settle down and you shouldn't rush into it. And I don't even see you as wanting to settle down, but more so to have fun. But also to be, you know, to remind you that, you know, um, it's a reminder for you to have fun and to have the open hearted energy of a child. Um, you've been through so much. You know, that it doesn't surprise me to see. A possibility of you showing up as a knight of swords because you've been through a lot and you've become smarter so then it turns into a game of who can outsmart who but what you got to realize is that anybody can do that but it's your ability to show your vulnerability and to say I don't want to be alone because you know that kind of energy just trying to ride solely upon you being able to or outsmart somebody you know, you need to try to outlove somebody. And that's what the Queen of Cups does. She loves unconditionally. <clears throat> she does not put conditions on her love. Now, of course, she's not going to let somebody just kick her down and dog her. No. But she's not going. She's going to understand a lot more than the Knight of Swords. Because when you're dealing with love, um... Sometimes there, really there is no logic, especially in the beginning, but, you know, it's advised for you to try to go back to the beginning and start fresh. Because you don't want to be jaded, you know, there's a lot of people going, that are walking around that are jaded. And those spirits push people away from you. So in general, this card would indicate new beginnings that have some deeper spiritual meaning. 
and you really have to catch it while it's there you know for example starting a meditation practice or a relationship as opposed to buying a new pair of shoes you know maybe instead of trying to make people look at your outward appearance try to make them want your inward appearance because we all have an inward appearance um, I could go on and on this is a really deep reading for, for the Capricorns just looking at the cards and it's, it's probably because I'm a tarot card reader and I've been doing it for so long that it's second nature to me now but um, and just taking one glance at the card you know I mean I have to look at the whole picture so I'd say the message for Capricorns for the beginning of the uh, spring equinox okay these should be called spring equinox readings we also have a green moon, supposedly, but, you know, we're still in it. You know, today's the full moon. And for the next three days. So, um, being able to, to, to go back and trust again like a child, the purity of a child and being open hearted is your message and so not being jaded not being so guarded um, having the ability to put yourself out there because if you don't put your heart out there you're not going to get anything in return um, if you need a personalized reading the link to my website is in the video description box thank you so much for coming by make sure you subscribe because I am having a 3,000 subscriber giveaway coming up and you have to be a subscriber thumbs up this video and I'd love to hear your comments and um, talk to you soon. Bye.